What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and you're watching Flight Garage. And today we're continuing the 2021 recaps with the mini trucks that we have on the channel. And this time is my 1988 Mazda V2200's turn. Uh, we have done quite a bit of work into this truck. This is probably the truck I've done the most changes on 2021. Uh, a lot of it has been maintenance. A lot of it has also been just fixing small stuff here and there that put, potentially didn't make it into the channel as a whole video. But if you've been following us on Instagram at Flick Garage, you've probably seen a lot of just kind of small clips and stories posted on this truck. So we're gonna focus in uh, kind of the same deal what we did on my Mazda V2000. We're gonna do uh, what's gonna happen on the on the engine, what's happened on the outside, and then what's happened on the inside. Uh, and hopefully we'll give you guys links to everything on the description. So if you're thinking about picking up anything that would change in here, or you wanna watch a video specifically on it, check the description or uh, perhaps check the top, you might see some links there as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. All right guys, so it is starting to get a little dark in here. So hopefully I'm gonna run through all of this before it gets completely dark. Uh, winter definitely making the, sh the day shorter does not help on making videos outside. But let's run real quick on the outside. We're gonna start here with the front. We changed the black grill that we used to have. It was completely bra uh, black grill. We changed that into my spare chrome one. People ask me thousands and thousands of times of where can I find a chrome grill? And sadly guys, there is not a direct link for them. They are getting harder and harder to come by. And basically when they pop up online, they just go away just as quick because people are on the hunt for them. So. The best tip for you to try to find a chrome grill is gonna be just keep looking online, keep looking at Amazon, eBay, Rock Auto, any of those sites, and if you see one pop up, basically buy it on site. Otherwise, you're not gonna find these girls anywhere else. And this girl was actually for sale for quite a bit. No one wanted to buy it, so I decided to keep it. It does have a small crack here on, the, on this side, but it's so tiny right there that it doesn't bug me. So, Let's move on to the next change out here. We also replace the corner lights. We have some clear corner lights here as well. We have some clear turn signals right here on the bottom. We had some plans for the bumper here and we still kind of do, but uh, unfortunately we haven't changed that yet. Uh, so if we move here to the side, you will see that the wheels have also changed. We actually ran through two sets of wheels here. We put some big 31, 30 or 31 diameter uh, wheels. Uh, you can check the video right here on the top on that one. We switched away from the factory ones and now we have this nice little Eagle Alloy wheels here. Uh, for the meantime, we might switch again uh, a little bit later, who knows, but that was the other change here. We have not gotten a chance to remove the body lift. That was one of the plans we, we were hoping to do in 2021. And unfortunately we didn't get a chance to do so. So it still does have the three inch body lift. Hopefully 2022, we'll be able to take care of that one. Another thing on the outside is, as you see here, it is the black mirror. We used to have the big kind of toe looking mirrors. I didn't like those. So I got rid of those and I put here my black ones from my 87. We continue here to the side. We also removed the bed liner that I used to have. We removed the bars that used to stick out right here. It used to be like a ladder holder or something like that. And unfortunately they were welded into the bed. So we do have some rust uh, spots there. And then back here, kind of like what we, we talked about on that bed liner video. I don't like plastic bed liners. If you're gonna do a bed liner, do the spray on kind. I think it's gonna be a lot better in the long run. We also added our couple flick garage stickers there. And then as we continue towards the back, there's really nothing changed on the back outside of some red and clear tail lights here. Um, those are a little bit yellow. That is the problem with these tail lights. So one thing to keep in mind, and we might do uh, some blackout ones a little bit later, um, just to kind of tie the look or something. Maybe go for the blackout look. We'll see. But that is basically everything that's been going on with the outside. Some of the other changes that you're not gonna be able to see here is the um, carrier bearing, which is underneath. That one, we also replaced it and is once again giving me issues. I unfortunately, I think I tightened it a little too much that is having some problems here. Let me go ahead, it is getting a lot darker uh, faster than I was hoping. So let me turn on the lights and we are gonna go into what's changed on the engine bay, let's do it. All right guys, so we are moving on to the engine bay and we're gonna start here from left to right. Uh, we 
went ahead and finally changed the battery tray. There was not a video on that, but the battery tray that was factory in here was completely rusted out. There was no way of holding it down. We had this pair actually from the parts truck, so we put it brand new battery tray, uh, brand new battery uh, tie down here as well. We cleaned up a lot of the wiring here that was just messed up. There was a lot of extra wires, a lot of uh, wiring for some fog lights that I used to have that didn't work. So we cleaned all of that, obviously, if you watch our couple latest videos on this, we replaced the factory carburetor. We installed a nice Weber carburetor here. Um, that one also replaced the factory airbox. We have a brand new uh, whole setup here, basically brand new fuel filter, new fuel lines for everything here, deleted the ECU. So all the wiring factory EGR and all that stuff was deleted. We don't need it anymore. This car is older than 25 years. So my state does not require any of that. Then if we move over here, we went ahead and also fixed a strip bolt that was on the fuel pump. We finally tied up the fuel pump there. We were leaking oil and all kinds of stuff from there. Uh, so that was a big problem that got fixed in 2021. Uh, obviously we have the red valve cover. Uh, we got that one powder coated and changed in here, which was great. And continue on here, we then went ahead and removed the factory exhaust. All the headers and, and tubing that was with all that factory setup completely got removed and we installed a pace setter header here, which again, cleans up just this whole side a lot better. Uh, just makes it look a lot neater. And then also on this side as well, we cleaned up all of that. Uh, another small change in here was just our brake hose over here uh, that was also replaced uh, actually I think that's part of the clutch if I'm not mistaken so that was replaced uh, and then just again we're just cleaning up um, nothing really that sticks out right now but again that was big changes on this truck for 2021 it does make it run a little bit better but it still needs some work so we'll continue working on that and hopefully have a nice running truck later down the road uh, that is everything that's done here on the engine base. So we're going to move to the inside so you guys can see what's changed in there on 2021. Let's do it. One of the other things that has changed in this truck uh, has been the door panels. We completely got rid of them because they were just completely trash, especially here towards the bottom. There was a lot of water that was coming into the, into the doors because of the outdoor seal, which we also replaced on this truck. So we replaced that seal on the passenger, I'm sorry, on the driver's side door here. We also replaced this locking mechanism here. It was completely completely messed up so now we got it working so we haven't fixed the door panel issue we just completely throw them to the trash and we never fixed it uh, we came in here and as you can see now we have no more carpet we removed the old carpet it's completely trash as well uh, just really dirty torn up so that one got taken out and it's, it went to the trash I do have the carpet that came out of the 87 which we're probably gonna put in here we just excuse me we just haven't done it because the i haven't fixed the water leaking issue from from the windshield with the things we replaced on the doors there's been no more water leaking through the doors thankfully so that's that's a fix that actually fixed that problem but the windshield i haven't replaced it so it hasn't been fixed as far as that uh, thankfully I do put a tarp on it and that's why we don't have any water in here. Uh, we came in and also painted the trim here black. I like the contrast. I think it looks great. Uh, we also came in, cleaned up the seat completely. Uh, we did a nice little, uh, wash on it. If you go in here, you can see the shift knot sent to us by our buddy Roger. That was awesome of him. We still rocking it as well. Uh, and then if you notice here, there was no video on changing the stern wall of this truck, but it got done actually. So I put a brand new hub in here. Sorry, blurring the camera here. We put a Sparco steering wheel, uh, a brand new hub. And then I think I reused one of my NRG horn buttons because the steering wheel didn't come with that, with that one. Big shout out to Grant. Grant sent me this uh, steering wheel is a little rough here on the top and everything, but trust me, this is 10 times better than the factory was just because I don't like the factory one. It was torn up on the back, the plastic was falling apart, so this is a lot better. So we also came and installed a tack cluster in here. Uh, this one does have some small issue. Basically, when I start moving my fuel gauge, just kind of goes all over the place. You can see the level there, but like I said, as soon as I take off, it's just all over the place moving. So. That probably needs to be fixed. Maybe something got loose in there. I'm not sure, but it got replaced. It looks great. The RPMs work and everything, so that's awesome. We also down here, 
it might be kind of hard to see, but we replaced the rubber on the brake and uh, clutch. They it didn't have anything in there, so real cheap mod it makes the truck look a little bit better. So that got replaced as well. Uh, the steering wheel got replaced, the hub got replaced. I believe some of the trim here, I used some of my old ones from uh, the V2000 that I got replaced. So we put this in here and it's uh, a lot better than it was before. We also didn't have a full stereo trim here. The stereo was just kind of placed in there. So we took the old stereo, I have this plastic one. It does need to be, I try to clean it as best as I can, but as you can see, it still looks pretty dirty. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end up uh, giving it another good cleaning and then repainting it uh, black just to make it better. Uh, I ended up reusing my old boot from the B2000 since we went into a console there. And uh, this works since I managed to get it kind of hooked up here on the bottom, but there's still kind of some fumes coming through here. So one thing to keep in mind, there is a rubber kind of seal that goes underneath here. I just received it on the mail, so it's gonna be a 2022 mod, but you should get it. That really prevents any fumes from coming in through here. And that is one of the things that I'm gonna install. Uh, another thing that we did was also replace the mirror here. Um, we replaced it with one that actually worked because the, it didn't have anything at all before. And then we just did some small cleaning up and small changes over here. Let me see if I can focus. I'm not sure why, there you go. So we got our cat here. And again, just cleaning, not a ton as far as uh, customizations inside of the truck. And again, like I said, it's mainly because we've just been fixing stuff that's wrong with it. So um, same thing on this side, we changed the seal here on the side. So everything is working good. Uh, I really apologize that it got dark so fast, guys. I didn't want to have these bright lights like this, but not much we can do. So there you have it, guys. That is everything that we kind of done on this truck. The only mod I forgot to mention really quick was the brake calipers, rotors, and pads that we changed. We did all of that as well. So everything got replaced on the front because it was giving me some issues. But now the rear is also giving me a couple issues. So we're most likely going to replace the drums on the rear uh, on 2022. We do have a couple more mods coming up. We have some front suspension refresh, a couple more visual mods that we want to do for this truck. Uh, it's just a matter of finding some time to get them all done. We have a couple projects going on. You guys have seen the 87, the hard body, the Tacoma. We got a lot going on. So it's kind of hard to basically put everything together all at once and find the time to do it. So hopefully you guys understand, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. We got a whole new year to do more stuff to the truck. Uh, a lot more things that we still got plans for. And I've tried to, I'm gonna try to be a lot better about keeping track about every single thing that's changed uh, on the trucks. I was a little bit bad last year. Uh, I, I just kind of basically had to go and rewatch all our videos and see what we had done and try to think of everything that I had done that didn't make it into a video. And I know I'm sure I forgot quite a bit of stuff. If you are following us on Instagram, you will see a lot of stories and stuff like that. So hopefully you catch something that I forgot to mention maybe. Uh, and if I didn't, just let me know which one was you think was the best mod or, or the best video for the B2200. You guys had some maintenance stuff like that that uh, you did on your truck. Let me know in the comments, guys. I wanna hear from you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll have more stuff coming up here for the next year. If y'all see Brian does send him a message, he's lacking on his hard body. Y'all need to tell him to get his butt in gear and get some mods done. If you guys like what we're doing, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button or hit the like button on this video. It helps us with the algorithm. Just a quick little help will go a long way. Hopefully we'll keep seeing more of you guys that are into mini trucks or just cars in general. Hit up the channel, subscribe, stay here, watch our videos, and hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.